Hello lovelies, it's G here with Golden Thread Tarot. How are you doing today? I'm feeling great today. It's a very casual, hanging out, no makeup day, spending some time outside. After I film this, we're going to go to the park with the kids. We're just going to have some good outdoor time. So if you guys have really been feeling like I have, like really being outside, really being one with nature. I know um, in the area where I live right now that we have a cold front moving in. So we're really having a break in our humidity and it's just been gorgeous because it, it has been raining so much over the past few weeks which yes our outside needs that you know our you know we definitely need the rain it's fine but now for the past few days it has just been so gorgeous and and, and there has been like it, it's amazing there's like a break in the bugs outside we're not getting attacked by mosquitoes and whatnot and you go outside and it just feels so good so if you guys have been really drawn in hey sweetie bye coming in already um if you guys have just really been drawn in to going spending time outside being out in the sun, getting some grounding time in, spending some time with your friends and with your family, okay? Go ahead and embrace that. Go ahead and get into it. Go ahead and, you know, just be a part of it, okay? Um, and so let's go ahead and get into the channeled message. But I just wanted to say that, you know, oh, yes, sorry. If you guys have been feeling this transformational energy that I've been talking about, okay, I really feel like it's important for you guys. If your body says, hey, drink water, drink water. If your body says, hey, I need to eat more food, eat more food. If your body says, hey, I need to get outside, get outside. If your body says, hey, I need to take a nap, take a nap, you know, um, just do what your body says it really needs right now because it's going to be telling you what it really needs from you to while you're while you're going through this transitional period right now okay and a lot of times you can have energies that you're feeling Oh, sorry, that you can have things that you're feeling energetically really show up physically or show up in your physical needs, right? So it's all connected together. So be mindful, you know, be mindful of the fact that, um, you know, your body is just going to be telling you what it needs right now to go to this transition. Oh, oh she's so cute. Kitty. Oh. <laughs> She's been trying to work her way into a, sol a solid appearance in, in, in there. And here she finally is. Oh, is she girl? Oh. Okay. Um, also, I I'll leave her up here while we're still talking about this as well. So what I was getting today was something about a tree falling in the woods, okay? So if you guys are spending some time outside this weekend, out as I'm uploading this, it's, you know, coming into the weekend, um... If you guys are spending some time outside, especially if you do some hiking or if you go, if you have a particularly like wooded part of your property and you go out or you're trimming trees or anything like that this weekend, pay attention to that. If you see any, any, um, you know, um, tree trimmers, I don't know why I lost that. I just said it. Sorry. Uh, any tree trimmers around your property, or if you plan on that, or if you're going to be walking around out in a particularly wooded part, um, please be mindful. Okay. Because I got like, just walk, like I was just like walking through the woods was like the vision that I got just walking through the woods and a huge tree just like falls down right in front of me. Okay. So be aware of that. And I was also hearing about like, um, what is it the saying where it's like, if a tree falls in the woods and nobody's around to hear it, does it really make a sound? And of course, yes, it still makes a sound, right? We still live in reality. It actually still makes a sound. But it's more about understanding kind of like, if a person isn't around to witness it happening, is it entering collective consciousness? You know, does it really you know, exists for us humans unless we see it or unless somebody says that they see it, you know, with their own eyes. Um, and it's very much so... Yeah, it just giving me that kind of vibes, like you're going to discover something or you're going to see something and you're very much so just going to be like, oh, and it's very this kind of like seeing without seeing is what I'm hearing, seeing without seeing. So using your intuition to really see what's really happening around you without having to actually see it, know that the tree is there, know that the danger is there or know that, you know, the possibility for this is, is around for you, even if. You know, you can't exactly see it with your eyes, even if you don't know for sure about it, right? Oh, sweetie pie. Oh, oh. Okay, 4404 four, 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 down on the clock, so I think that's a good time, 444. Four, four. And thank you for being here, little guardian. Because she has, she has her little leg, like, all, like, stretched out. It's so cute. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, sweet pea. 
I'm so sorry, but you got to get down. Woo. All right, you guys. <laughs> Woo. Whew. I feel our hair on me now. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. Oh, I'm not sorry about it. I'm sure you guys, most of you guys are just like, oh, my God, kitty. <laughs> and I know if I watch any other tarot readers and their cats are just, I'm just like, yes, kitties. <laughs> okay, so I had two cards already pulled while I was shuffling and saying my prayers and everything from the Moonology deck, okay? <laughs> okay, so I got this right here, and it was a new start is coming. And I got show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So it's this very new moon, you manifested new things into your life for, and you're releasing masks. So there's somebody in the collective here that's releasing mask. I'm hearing masculine. You guys uh, could be masculine or just your masculine energy could be being activated. All right. To kind of put down that kind of like ego based mask and kind of um, see beyond, see the unseen. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. I'm feeling very hermit energy from this card. You are good enough going inside and seeing that you're good enough. Emotions are running high though. Right. And so it's like your emotions are running high. Maybe you're, you're like, am I good enough for this transition? And I, am I good enough? I've been seeing a ton of like yellow butterflies here recently. They're just everywhere around my house. Um, and, and I guess it's just like the time of season right now, just like kind of like the air temperature, but I've been seeing like a ton of them every single day. So all this time I've been spending outside, I've been seeing all these butterflies and you know, that's also for me, that's why I know there's a huge shift in transition you know, uh, there's, a shift, there's a huge energy shift, a huge transition going on right now in the collective. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. It's these same cards have been coming out over the past few readings for the collective. Wow. And the same deck. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay. That cancer energy. So understanding, right? Like the, inner, like the video that I just uploaded yesterday, that was a crazy video. That was so deep. Um, you guys go check that out. 717 down on the clock at that when I said that, okay, which is about manifesting, you know, collective conscious awakening. Wow. So 717, right? Um, you guys go check out that video. Also go look up the angel number 717 if you feel called to, okay? Um, and that video was about a, a masculine energy going through their awakening and going through a very spiritual, like out of body experience to to be pushed to the to the understanding of what their contract and what their purpose here on this world was because they were very stubborn to see what it was. And speaking of that, Taurus energy right here on the back of the deck, your dreams need a practical plan. That also came out at the end of that reading where it's like they understood they needed to make a practical plan to, right? That they had a new start coming. They were worried about what their friends and family would think about them being open about their, you know, their spirituality or their newfound spirituality that they were finding, right? show the world the real you it's very it's this very a lot of you are being asked you know a lot of you have had your talents in the you know in the shadows or you know kind of like been quiet been quietly understanding quietly awakening um through that doesn't mean it's been a peaceful awakening but you've kind of been quietly awakening discovering new gifts and abilities noticing new things having new dreams i feel like a lot of people are waking up to um during this age of aquarius that's coming in fully now um where people a lot more people are waking up to this kind of like higher consciousness that they that everybody has so yeah i feel like a lot of you are going to be asked you know to be open and honest about what you're experiencing or i feel like you're going to find a lot more people kind of like doing what i do or doing what other people do which is sharing their gifts sharing their dreams sharing their intuitive messages and it's going to start really look at that what do you need to release? What do we need to release? The shame or the the fear that we are there, we are not protected, you know? Full moon, surrender to the divine. Yo, if this is that, if I wonder what this is. That would it would it would be a lot if it was that. What was it like the new moon in Libra, which is like the new romantic cycle begins? That card kept coming out in that other reading. <gasps> and that's what it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, but with this, a new romantic cycle, cycle, 
school begins, excuse me, I heard renaissance, like a, a, a new awakening, like a new a new era, uh, a new renaissance era, a new age of enlightenment coming upon the earth, right? Uh, 944 was down on the clock as soon as I was saying that. So about, you know, divinely guided, balancing things happening and the and nine about is about changing over cycles. What do we need to release? This need, the, you know, the need to hang on to our mask like we have for the past few decades, you know, it's been kind of almost overwhelming, what humans have been going through and how much of that mass that we've been clinging to. And now it's like the shift now. It's like, okay, um, you know, bring out the realness, bring out who we really are, get in touch with a higher form of us, a higher form of thinking, you know? Yeah. It's just, there's a lot here. Okay. Yeah. Balance spirituality and practicality. Exactly. So it's like this balancing energy between the two, between our spiritual world and the practical 3D world right in front of us, right? And that that your dreams need a practical plan, right? Um, dreaming 3D, you know, dream, dreaming things from the subconscious into the consciousness, manifesting things into the 3D world so, to help raise the vibration. Yeah, I really feel like a lot of higher vibrational beings and a lot, y'all, you're joking. I did not. There's another card from this other deck in here. I promise you guys. I know it probably seems like I, but I am not. I could have swore that I went through this deck. Didn't I went through this deck on camera yesterday and was like, went through it and was like, okay, there are no other cards from this in this deck. Is this a different card? That would be wild. This is a completely different card, but it's still from that other reading. It's still from the, the transitioning between your old life and your new life. I went through this deck on camera and was like, there are no other cards in this deck. Ooh, spirit, you're doing some extra stuff. Mountains, stand your ground. And what was I just talking about? Higher, right? Look, look, the subconscious and, you know, the two different lives together, right? The parallel realities or the parallel, you know, the spirit worlds and or like the 3D world and the spirit world, you know, kind of marrying each other, bringing in that energy from the higher realms. Oh, my gosh. And I feel like the stand your ground is talking about the showing the world, the world, showing the world, the real you, showing the world who you really are, the gifts that we all really possess, believing the impossible. A Capricorn energy is here somewhere. Your hard work is paying off a new moon in Capricorn. I don't know when the new, when the next new moon in Capricorn is happening. Yes. Oh, I love this. Yes, North Node. Ooh, I'm having a really high pitch in my ear right now. So that's definitely divine confirmation. As soon as this card popped out, that's crazy. Step step out of your comfort zone, right? Being pushed, stepped outside of your comfort zone. Push yourself outside of your comfort zone to be able to see this new start, right? Transitions are uncomfortable. New energies are uncomfortable, right? Because as humans, we, we get comfortable as to what we are used to right now in this moment, right? But we get pushed beyond that. And, and, transitioning right anything new feels weird going into a new relationship yes it might feel good but there's still that kind of awkward getting to know each other phase getting to learn about each other honey i'm so sorry you cannot be in the shop today <laughs> she just really wants she want i tried to get her to sit on my lap but she won't okay and it's just this big shift and change i know i'm sorry i keep using those same words but that's what the spirit keeps telling me that like, there's a major shift happening there's a major shift happening and it's like it's like that tree falling in the woods right you might not understand that it's happening the majority of society might not see that it's happening but that doesn't mean that it's not happening that doesn't mean that the old like a tower falling right like that does not mean that the old systems aren't being rewritten behind the scenes right those who are in the know they know oh wow that's kind of wild. But yeah, but it's about shifting into your north node. What is the destiny of this earth? What's the destiny of, of, you know, the people of planet earth? What is the destiny of us individually shifting the consciousness to a higher vibration? Wow. Can I get one more, please, Spirit? Thank you. Okay. Okay, nothing will come of this situation. It's falling here under you and your loved ones are safe. So I feel like that's like spirit telling you it's okay, right? It's all going to work out in the end. You might lose some people along the way, right? But there's going to be this shift 
that in the end is going to to put the world in a much better place and going to put you personally, right? We talk about that on the channel. When you start going through your awakening, not everybody can come with you. Not everybody can shift with you. Not everybody is meant, is, is meant to be on the same vibration as you. Not everybody, you know, we have some people in our life that are meant to be in our lives then, you know, and then we shift and transition to, you know, to other periods of our life. So it's like, it's not, it's like understanding that, that when you're a kid, you probably are not going to have the same friends that you do when you're a child as you do when you're an adult, you know, or you might have one or two friends that you might've kept up with that, that you're still, you know, like you might talk to on Facebook or something like that, you know? Um, but a lot of times, you know, you, you don't have those very same childhood friends for your whole entire life, you know? And so, or even if you do, like I said, have a few of them, there are other friends that come and go throughout your life through different periods of your life, you know? And that's just like the natural cycle of things. Things come and things go. Um, things are accepted sometimes, something that is accepted as our reality or is accepted, you know, changes over time, right? Also talking about the last renaissance, thinking about how much society has changed in general since the last renaissance, how much more we know about our reality, about space, about, you know, um, our place in the universe. And I feel like something is gonna, something big is going to happen and it's going to shift our understanding of what our place is in the universe, Dude, it's something, and it's something kind of like ast astrologically based. Oh man, this feels big. Ooh. Believe, believe in the impossible. Something's going to happen. Something that most people don't believe in. Maybe it's just like shifting to the, you know, shifting to the, the realization that yes, like the spirit world is real, you know? You know, like there's going to have to be a major shift in consciousness if they want more people to wake up and be aware of the high vibrational nature of things beyond this reality, more people are going to have to be aware of it. And that's what's going to start happening during this age of Aquarius, right? I'm sure you guys see it on social media, on like, you know, all different kind of apps and things like that. You know, the spiritual community is just blowing up everywhere. Suddenly now everybody's doing tarot readings and things like that, you know, um, and yes, that does mean that there are going to be other people out there who are going to be taking advantage of it. Because unfortunately, there are always people out there that take advantage of everything, you know. Um, nothing can happen in, in the collective consciousness without some people being out there trying to take advantage of it, you know, and try to get some kind of materialistic gain off of it. But I feel like, hey, we're not fighting today. We talk about this every day. He's going through puberty, you guys. And he is just like... You know how they always say that a son is going to rise up against their father and have like have that that balance? I feel like that's what's happening. You know how you watch like the Animal Kingdom or the Animal Kingdom. If you watch, you know, kind of like, you know, um Nat Geo shows and things like that and it's always like, oh, the, you know, the adolescent lion cub is becoming, you know, a man and now they're having to to challenge the the like alpha or like the leader of the of the, you know, of the pride sort of type thing and I feel that that's what's happening like my baby cat is going from a baby cat shifting over to a teenager cat and he's like teen angst all the time and he's like yeah, yeah, yeah. and I feel like that's kind of playing into what's happening right now as society as humans as a whole you know for a long time we've been kind of what the equivalent of like maybe higher dimensional beings would consider kind of like babies or in the adolescence but it's kind of like okay you were going through like a shift in our collective consciousness right because we do have to admit, you know, like while each individual person goes through shifts of, you know, baby, toddler, child, teenager, young adult, adult, you know, they go through that. Us as a race, as, as, as a, as a, you know, as a race, as a species in, in, in the whole, right. As a whole, as a collective, we go through shifts in that too, based on our age of our rate of our race, you know, how long we've been living, how long we've been experiencing things in this, in this world. And I feel like white right now, like these age of Aquarius has come around to shift us forward in thinking forward and understanding um, having a higher understanding of the world and of ourselves around us. This is so weird. I 
feel like there's some kind of de- technology technological development coming. Okay, I'm feeling a prediction coming on you guys. Sometime within the next five five years. Sometimes within the next five years, there's going to be a company that like releases like AI, you guys, like artificial intelligence. It's going to happen. Holy smokes. Like genuine AI. In August. August 19th. You know, obviously August 19th is already passed now, but yo, that's crazy. Yeah? Yeah? You agree? <laughs> hmm. That's so weird. I have like an old like burn scar on my arm from work and it was just like kind of burning that's weird I think my cat just scratched me there but it's so weird that it I don't know it just struck me as something something about burning it don't work that's boogie wonderland uh uh then boogie wonderland uh uh dance something about dancing that's weird what's going on i'm gonna just like all these like random messages in something about staring you in the face and saying that doesn't work that's the it's time to take action Wow, that's so funny that came in right now. It's like, that does not work. It's time to take action. It's try, It's time to try something different. I feel like it's also like our spirit, the spirit world is coming to us telling us as humans, okay, like how you've been handling your business so far is not working. You know, you guys are... I'm not trying to get too political, you know, but we know about all the things that are happening in our environment that are happening with our, you know, with the quality of our air, with, you know, how things are just going with our healthcare systems and things like that, you know, um, as we've seen, you know, through what's been happening over the past two years, you know, yeah, I'm not, I don't want to get too deep into it or anything like that because I don't want to get flagged or anything, but I'm just saying, you know, like it's like... What you've been doing so far isn't working. There's going to be some kind of um, new thought processes that raises over this uh, out of this transitional period that humans are about to go through. That are about that is kind of like the moment. It's kind of like okay, like are we going to raise above? Are we going to evolve to our next level of consciousness? Your dreams need a practical plan. Wow. Be bold and make the first move. Wow. That, that's so funny with it ending right there. If you guys have Taurus in your in your natal charts, go ahead and um and check out what is in Taurus. Okay, I just had that feeling. If you don't, then don't worry about it. It's not for you. But if you do look into that and look up what that means for it being in what house and in what um planet it's in. Okay. The magician. Right? Manifesting things into into this life. Wow. But yes, six of uh six of wands. I almost said six of swords, but six of wands in reverse, okay? That right, like it not happening out in public, right? Because this is like pu- like publicly, um, public victory, but this it could also be public shame, but it feels like not with the whole tree falling in the woods doesn't make a sound sort of type thing it's like it happening behind closed doors and it kind of you know it's kind of like one of those things that just slowly kind of starts to happen and and then it's kind of just there it is kind of just in our collective consciousness i'm also hearing going viral like something is going to go viral okay king of pinnacles <gasps> Freaking six of swords. 
Okay. Six of swords and the three of swords. So exactly like you, this isn't working. This is leading to heartbreak. This is leading to the destruction of our own planet. And, you know, like the tearing apart of our own species, this has to end. We have to end and we have to walk away from conflict, walk away from this drama. Yeah, it's very much so like us banding together as like a as like a whole, as like a species to to go to the next level, you know, to get this more like grounded energy. Tell me specifically about this new start that's coming. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, wow. Thank you, spirit. Eight of Cups, walking away from things that we've invested in in the past, right? It's very much so like this isn't working. We're walking away from the conflict, walking away from the drama. It's not working, right? Eight of Cups, we've invested so much in the way that we have been doing things before, but it's time to turn around and face that moon, right? Face the light, face like the truth, face like the things we've been keeping in the shadows. Very much so like, you know, a switch over, of energy. Yeah. And the wheel of fortune, which is the number 10. I seem significant here. The wheel of fortune, like it's happening in divine timing, in divine timing, we will walk away from things that no longer serve, that no longer serve us. Right. But nine, but night, night, of pentacles. I always do that. Knight of pentacles. Okay. It's going to happen slowly. Like I was just saying, it happens so slowly and happens so gradually over time that it just becomes part of our consciousness. It's just, you know, kind of just like over time, kind of, I don't know how many of you believe, you know, in evolution and things like that. Right. But it's, but it's also just like, we understand like how things just suddenly become a part, like at some point, certain things have just become a, a part of pop culture or a part of American culture or a part. It's just part of who we are. You know, it, something comes out, a movie goes viral or is known all over the world. And then line, you know, lines from it, Luke, I am your father, you know, like things like that just become a part of our whole collective consciousness. That's so weird though. Cause I was talking about that with my friends. Um, we were watching stuff that was about Mark Mandela effects. You guys know about that? Go look those up if you don't know about them. Like the Bernstein Bears. I freaking remember Bernstein Bears, okay? I A lot of those Mandela effect things, I'm one of those people that remembers it being the other way, right? I'm, and so a lot of people try to say like the Mandela effect. So it's like in the collective consciousness, right? There's so many people that are like, no, it's this way, but this is the actual real reality, right? It's burned. Uh, there's so many of us of my generation that remember the burnt, you know, like the, like the bears, like the little bear comic book or not. It's a comic book. It's like a story, book. it's like a child story book. Uh, so many, me and like all of my friends remember Bernstein bears, S T E I N, but it's not. It's come out here recently over the past few years that it's Bernstein bears. It's spelled with an A. Like in any, anything, any kind of media, anything that you see that you can go find the, the books now, if you have them, it has an A. But I have always, my whole life, remembered Bernstein Bears, always. And the Shazam, the Shazam thing, where it's like, uh, remember not Shaquille O'Neal being in it, but remembering um, Sinbad being in it. I remember that. I remember that. I remember sitting, literally sitting in my grandmother's living room, which is so weird because my friend lives in my in the house that my grandmother used to grow up in. And I was like, dude, we were watching the thing about Mandela effects and, they, and that came up. And I was like, dude, I was sitting in this room. But I was like, the TV was over here in, in the corner, in another corner, right? But I was sitting in this room watching that movie. And I was like, it happened here in this room. I remember seeing that movie, you know? So if you guys don't know about Manila, Mandela effects, go and look it up. It's so interesting. You can go down the rabbit hole all day on those. I think that some of them are just things that people just misquote and remember wrong. But some of them are really big. Like I'm also one of the people that uh, when it started out, it started out with Nelson, Nelson Mandela. Like some, people, like some people remembered him dying in prison. And then other people, when he died in the 2000s, were like, I thought he was, and that's what happened too. Like when it came out, that he died. Like in the 2000s, my mom told me, oh, Nelson Mandela died. I was like, I thought he was already dead. Like, what do you mean? I thought he died in prison. Like, I thought he was, what? And so it's like this whole remembering reality differently, like a shift in reality changes, you know? 
I don't know, maybe pay attention to what's happening now. Pay attention to like pop culture things that are happening right now because in a few years, maybe it won't be different. Maybe it'll be different. Maybe there'll be a whole new generation of people who, who start remembering things differently. You know, a whole new set of, um, a whole new set of, you know, people will come out. That's so weird. That's so weird that that came up. But yeah, so that obviously is not weird. It's obviously means something, right? And a lot of people think that that is like people shifting realities or people, you know, remembering things a little bit different from like apparently, you know, like a, um, from different parallel universes, like butting up against ours or touching or, you know, that so you have memories from a different life that was changed or something like that, you know. So I'm not going to get too far out on it because I know not all of you guys are really into the sort of type things. Um, I would kind of like to start making some videos where I talk about some of these kind of these things that I've come up and researched and how I kind of feel like they are, um, they are, you know, related to how I would relate it to my spirituality. If you guys would be really interested in that, you know, um, drop it in the comments comments down below and be like, yes, we'd, I'd like to talk about this because I love to talk about rabbit hole stuff like that, you guys. So you let me know if it's something that you're into. If you're not, that's totally cool. You're just here for the, you know, for the love readings and everything like that, the, <laughs> the consciousness readings, that's fine. But I love doing consciousness readings like this as well. Um, I've had some where I'm doing like channeling from like Palladian energy and things like that. I use, you know, I haven't in it for a while, but I did when I first went through my awakening. And so it's something that I'd really like to get into again. Hey, kitty. Um, Queen of Cups. Yeah, so it feels like the shift here. A shift in love and gratitude and connectivity. Also, the Queen of Cups is somebody who is also very um, psychic. Also, who is very in touch with their intuition. So definitely like this change over in this energy, right? Of not being trapped so much in our mind. Of feeling like we're not trapped in a prison of our mind, of our own making, right? We can see the world from a much higher perspective. And although the Queen of Cups in general is just water signs, right? Like look, the imagery there with like the woman in the cup and pouring out the cup, right? Yeah, yeah. There's definitely like a shift in like feminine, like the feminine energy right now. Or inspired, kind of like led forward by the feminine energy. <gasps> why did I just hear, I was listening to Prince the other day, but why did I just hear Prince in the revolution? Uh-oh, let's go. Dun, 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 break us break us now. Uh-oh, let's go. Yes. Oh my God, I miss Prince. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, yeah, so I feel like there's this shift in feminine energy happening, and that's going to be happening no matter who you identify as, you know, um, we all have masculine and feminine energy, like we say all the time, so there's going to be like this shift here. Sorry, I feel like I'm having a lot of like side topics to talk about today, even though I feel like I'm relating them back and they're all making sense, um, at least they are to me, yeah. So there's kind of like this like this disparity between masculine and feminine energy here. And I feel like that's going to shift and that's going to change, right? I feel like there's going to be a shift over where a lot more people are awakening up their feminine energy. Yeah, with the moon card. The moon card. Things being hidden. Things secrets coming to light. Page of Pentacles. It's like a shift from like business money thinking and a shift more over to higher consciousness thinking about things on a more like intellectual or like deeper level hanged man coming to this enlightenment right the fool card right having this new beginning and then look what's peeking out down there the high priestess the priestess the high priestess wow Show the world the real you. Things balancing out. Third party situations where things were unbalanced. So showing how outside, outside forces or outside, you know, um, third party situations were kind of affecting, affecting us as a whole. You and your loved ones are safe. Three of Wands in reverse. Something that we were waiting for. Some kind of ship. Some kind of 
something that we were waiting for not coming around. What more do you want to say about that? I'm getting a very people need to stop saying it's the end of the world or like this is the end, like this is far from the end. Oh, that's kind of dark. But I was just, I just heard, you know, like even if it was the end of humans, it wouldn't be the end of this world. Like another, like something else would evolve and rise to replace us. Oh, that's kind of, oh, especially with us talking about that. And me and my friends just watched The Matrix last night, you guys, because the new Matrix movie is coming out this year. Yeah. King of Swords in reverse. Who, who is, what is this? With a 10, with a 10 of cups on the back. Who is this King of Swords in reverse? What is this? I think it's like, it feels like the old patriarchy. Yes. The hanged man again. Having this hanged man energy shift and change. Yes, look. Having a shift and change around. Understanding that what we were doing is not making us happy. Look. King of Cups in the upright now, right? It's a very, it's a, it feels like a shift in the masculine con consciousness because we live in a very, you know, like masculine energy dominated world and it feels like a shift in masculine consciousness. Yes, the world, the end of an old cycle coming in, the world in general, the whole world having a shift. <gasps> Of focusing more on love, focusing more on giving, focusing more on like this wellspring that we get, like this, right? Like this, um, um, this divine love, right? Focusing more on divine love, more like divine counterparts coming together, raising the vibration of the earth. Yes, right? Absolutely, four of wands. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, this is such a beautiful message. Yeah, but I just heard transitions are hard. They are hard. But we'll, we'll make it through this. I feel like we'll be guided through it, you know, like our spirituality. Yes, yeah, yeah. The moon card, right? A lot of this moon energy. A lot of, I feel like a lot of people, you know, talked about how when the pandemic happened and everything like that, there were just all like people were breaking up. Marriages were ending left and right. Like people were really, it's like suddenly people had to stay at home with their family and they were like, I can't stand you anymore. And it's like, if staying home with your have staying home with your partner for a few weeks made you be like I can't stand you anymore there was already some there had to already be some problems there you know I doubt that staying home for a few weeks with them led you to a divorce it was probably already there so I feel like this huge shift in ending of karmic relationships ending of you know karmic there there's nothing good is going to come of this so I feel like spirit is saying that if you have that you are falling in the collective because I see a lot of people in my readings that talk about you know that they're that they're exes that they have divorced one person or one partner and they're kind of looking for their next partner I feel like spirit is saying that's all part of us all finding new newer higher vibrational soulmate partners and you know partners to be with that are helping to raise the overall vibration bringing together more people who will make you know, higher vibration, you know, that will live a happier life with their partner. So thus will pass down less traumas to their children and will pass down a much more healthier diet, you know, like healthier social and healthier relationship dynamic to their children, which will in turn, um, you know, in turn, encourage those children, you know, to have higher vibrational relationships as well, you know, and that, and that in general is going to help raise the overall collective consciousness of the earth bring a lot more things to life, things that we, things that were hidden before to us with this moon card here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. This king of swords energy. Again, like this controlling energy coming out. That's crazy. I'm surprised the devil card hasn't come out because I wouldn't be surprised. Six of pentacles in reverse again. Like this shift. It's like, an overall shift of like negative karma left over from old, from the old patriarchy, from the old ways that the world has been run in the past. This is very interesting. Yeah, I just keep hearing the world, the world. I kept hearing hermit too. 
Like this past couple years has very much so been like hermit mode for us. And now it's like the world is like changing. Wow, ah, yes. Things that we didn't see happening before. Look, all these cards that were in the negative before now are flipping and turning around, right? Now we're seeing these ships come in. Temperance. Yes, the temperance angel is coming in, right? To balance things out. Wow. What fell on the floor? <gasps> tower. I was talking about that, right? These tower moments happening in people's lives. The end of the old system. This feels very much so like the end of like... It's, it's definitely like this whole like end of the of the dark... of Kind of like a dark ages coming to an end. It's like at some point... People, somehow people will look back on the past like 30 or 40, 50 years as some kind of the, uh, dark ages. Not that it seems dark to us because obviously things in the past have seemed darker to us, but maybe just as the consciousness is going to shift moving forward into the future. So yeah, it's going to seem, it's going to feel more dark because it's like, well, in the future, you know, we all are a lot more spiritually aware. We are all a lot more like in touch with our higher consciousness. We, you know, we don't really fight or have as many wars or conflict like you guys used to, you know, because if you actually think about how many wars and how much conflict the human race has been in over the past like 50 years or so, you know, over the past 100 years or so, like since the beginning of we've been fighting for land and dominance and supplies and things like that. And I feel like our collective consciousness is trying to tell us it's time to evolve above that yeah and it's like the very much so like this like less seeing ourselves as like individual nations and more seeing not I'm not saying that we're gonna unite under a single nation rule or anything like that but it's like yeah it's like ending these contracts or ending this, right? Looking, ending this five of swords regret, looking at what we don't have instead of what we do have, sort of ending that kind of overall energy, turning our back, this whole kind of just like gray, oh, you know, the world's in conflict, you know, the world's coming to an end, you know, this is the end sort of type feeling and like changing over to something else. I would love it if the sun card would show itself. Yeah, because, yes, thank you, spirit. Seven of cups in reverse, like the end of this confusion, the end of the gray, right? I was saying like all this gray cloud confusion, you know, and it's like the breaking of this, the breaking of the clouds, the breaking of all, right? And it's also too, remember what I was saying, right? Like all these different factions, seeing ourselves as, as kind of like this tribalistic mentality that humans have, right? It's like rising above that and seeing the truth of what's really happening, It's like this whole not being able to see, not being able to see us having a future. It's like this overall mindset of like people kind of have this, we're doomed, you know, um, we all are, we all already kind of like, we have a very morbid uh, like mentality humans have. You guys notice that? Like we are fascinated with like disaster movies, you know, end of the planet catastrophes. Um, you know, it's just everywhere in all of our media and it, and it, and it, and it, you know, and it really feeds into this, the world is coming to an end sort of mentality that a lot of people have, you know, because we've been bombarded in our media and things like that so much here recently with like end of the world, you know, zombie apocalypses, you know, and aliens coming down, our world being ripped apart from like giant, you know, just world ending catastrophe movies have just kind of been like all over the place and TV shows based on post-apocalyptic landscapes and things like that. And it's all just kind of been like bombarded into us. Right. And, and spirit is trying to say nothing is going to come of this, like focusing on, on, on focusing on what, what we're probably going to lose is it's not working. Right. If we're worried about these things happening, do something about it. If we're worried about, you know, massive climate shifts or something like that, do something about it. 
death. There has to be some kind of end here. There has to be like a transitional moment here. Queen of Swords in reverse now. Why is this Queen of Swords in reverse here, Spirit? Oh, what did I say? What did I say? The devil. It's like the end of, of this insecurity. The end of this to this confusion and the rise of the truth. Right? The rise of the truth of these energies being out there in the collective consciousness. Ooh -wee. It's like the understanding and the seeing of these energies that are trying to bring an end to these to these ten of cups. I didn't think you were going to be talking about this so much down the rabbit hole today, spirit. <laughs> King of Pentacles in reverse. What did I say, right? The ending to this masculine kind of very 3D based, right? And the rise of the feminine, of more feminine energy, the Empress. In paying attention to the earth and the things that it needs, the rest, getting the rest, going inside, meditating, leveling yourself out, really concentrating nine of cups on what we really want to bring into consciousness or bring into our lives as, you know, as a whole, as a race. Yeah. Will of Fortune, because it's divine time for this to be happening. Mountains, mountains, stand your ground. What is this mountain stand your ground talking about? Stand up, stand your ground against the devil. Against the forces of low vibrational energies that wish, you know, that wish to bring humanity down as a whole down. Rising up against those things. Because it's not worse. It's like it's not working anymore. Remember I said like the dark ages, right? Like an end to like dark times in a in a new and a new balancing out of energy to, to something different now. I wonder if I'll even be able to put this video out. I mean, I will. We'll see. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Temperance Angel. Uh, it's like forces of light. More light workers were wait awakening here on Earth to break this. Wow. It's like being four. Sorry, I didn't even show you guys. Four of cups in reverse and the ten of pentacles, right? It's like what the foundation of our society, of like the human race has been so far. How we've mistreated each other, how we've gone out conquering lands and conquering societies re you know re-envisioning them in out in our likeness and our image you know even being so bold as people to say that god created us in his likeness and his image you know which i know for some of you out there i'm not trying to come for you i'm not trying to attack you i'm not trying to start a debate you're free to think you know you're free to think whatever your religion tells you to believe okay um or whatever you have faith in or whatever you believe in, that's fine. I'm not coming for you like that. But it is kind of like this, you know, just even the thought process. Well, God must look like us. You know, we must look like God. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we do, but. But it's also kind of just this like the legacy that has been set up on this on this planet for hu for the human race so far. We've actually, it's like this, we've actually been victimizing ourselves by the legacy that, you know, that our race was set up under, you know, all the, the karma from all of the past deeds that we've been doing.
not seeing things in the shadows. What is that saying that people have? The biggest trick of all is the, de uh, the devil pulled was convincing people that he didn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. There's a shift coming. Wow. Hmm. All right, well, that was extremely interesting. <laughs> extremely interesting indeed, like... Very soon. Past life relationships. Remember how I was saying that a lot more of these like high vibrational relationships are going to come into being? Yeah. <laughs> yes, people are loving to love themselves first. Absolutely. Loving themselves first. Mm-hmm. Going through a separation from codependency, which is the devil in this in this deck. Codependency. Oh wow. Letting go of all these codependent. See, a lot. That's what a lot of people like don't want to understand is that a lot of this, right? Jealousy, anger, rage. You know, um, greed. That's how you see the devil working in your life. You know, every day. <laughs> you know. These people that are affected so much so, like I said, that they're like taking advantage of people in the spiritual community that, you know, the people that work their way into the church and then use their power they have in the church to do evil things, you know, working right in front of our faces, right under our noses, this devil energy trying to work its way and right in front of us, you know, through this every day, just kind of, even if it's on like a small scale of just convincing you, just stay in this monotonous life. Just don't wake up. Just stay plugged in. Just don't pay attention to like what's really actually happening out there. <laughs> I feel like this video is going to really attract some, some odd comments. I love reading you guys' comments. I feel like this one is going to kind of... <laughs> yes! What was I just saying? Deception, right? The mask, the ego, that's where the devil energy comes in in our life is convincing us to feed into our ego, to feed into our greed, to feed into our us keeping that mask on, right? Not showing the world who we really are at a higher vibrational state. That's where the devil energy like convinces us in our life. <gasps> Romantic feelings. Yeah. Right? Like I was saying, that a new romantic cycle begins. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah. Like when people being like, oh, this generations are so, you know, they're so pussies and blah, blah, blah. You have all these feelings and they matter and we should care about everybody's feelings. Like, yeah, we should. I'm not a snowflake just because I say, hey, you should think about how what you say affect how that affects other people. You know, it's just, that's this devil energy working in people, trying to convince people that we need to fight each other instead of working together, instead of seeing the truth of what's actually happening behind, you know, behind it. Yeah, exactly. New love, like a new age of love coming in, staying optimistic and getting to know each other. Thank you so much, Spirit, right? Understanding that staying optimistic and really actually learning and empathizing with other people, putting putting our putting ourselves in other people's shoes, seeing things from other people's perspectives, even though we might not see it, understanding that just because we don't we don't see certain things in our lives or we've never been exposed to cert to certain, you know, to, to racism or certain things. I'm not trying to make this super overly overly political, but it's just like just because you haven't been exposed to it doesn't mean that it's not a real thing for somebody else. Else. And it's like, it's important for those other people to not shut up, 
Although it, I know that it might be really hard to think about how other people are suffering or to put yourself in other people's positions because it's hard for you to see it because you don't see it in your everyday life. It doesn't affect you. That doesn't mean that it doesn't matter. That doesn't mean that there aren't millions of people out there that are affected by it, you know? And I'm not speaking about any one subject in particular, you know? But yeah. So it's just like understanding, l actually listening to each other, being empathetic towards each other, seeing things, being less judgmental of other people and understanding how we can see ourselves in other people. We can see mistakes that we've made or, you know, options that we've had. And we can see that how the, the, the variables might be different, how they might call it a different word. But it's like, but I know what you're going through because I've been there before. I've seen that before. I've had to make that choice before. And it's not a hard one. And you know what? I maybe have not got it before. When you really start studying older cultures, you see how much we're actually not that different. I mean, there are there is a vast, beautiful, diverse you know, diversity out there in humans. But a lot of the time we call things different words or we or we say different, you know, uh, certain symbols might mean one thing to you and something to another. But the overall meaning is kind of there. They're like these overall, like how, how in, in a lot of ancient cultures, we have the same stories over and over again of a great cataclysm or a great flood or a great leaders or, you know, like different things that people have seen throughout the years. It's like understanding that they're, we're more connected then, then for some reason, the status quo wants us to believe that we are, you know? And it was like five, five, five down on the clock when I was talking about that. So like, that's changing. Wow. Oh, look at this shit. Very soon. Right? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. What do you guys really want? There needs to be a shift in consciousness so that we can all manifest a much a much happier existence for all of us in instead of concentrating on the fact, right? Like I keep saying, everybody keeps trying to make you think the world is ending, that everything's coming, that, you know, that everything's falling apart. But it's like things, sometimes things feel like they're falling apart in a shift because like we understand, right? We need to understand that how in our personal singular journeys, right? Things get chaotic before they get better. You go through your awakening and suddenly you start seeing everybody in your life for who you are. You start seeing people that you trusted as people that maybe, you know, maybe you should just back off or maybe those people just aren't meant for your next, for your next level or for your next journey. And it's how that is going to shift from just individuals experiencing that to us as a whole, as a society experiencing that on different levels having these shifts and understandings of what serves us and what serves humanity and what serves us moving forward as a race to actually go on and, and keep existing on this planet and what does not serve us. Wow. I hope y'all are giving this, this is a deep ass reading. I hope that y'all are giving this because I know a lot of people don't get me wrong. I know that a lot of people, a lot of people watch the channel and they're much more open to talking about these things too. But I know a lot of people get drawn into the channel because they just want to think, see what their counterpart is doing, or they just want to have a love reading. But is it, it's important that we understand that it, what is happening to us on individual soul journeys is also a part of what's happening to the to the to the collective consciousness how things that are happening in the higher realms and in our collective consciousness filter down to us individually and how also how what's happening to us individually on our soul level is filtering back up into the collective consciousness more of a, the more of us that wake up the more of us that will wake up right the higher vibrational like you know energies that we bring into the world the higher vibrational the world as a whole will be It is safe for you to love. Yeah. The devil, right? This is falling under this codependency. The devil wants you to think that it's not safe. The devil wants you to say, no, no, no. Well, that feel right, right? Like I was saying, like I was saying earlier, right? Transitional periods, they're uncomfortable. So 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 the devil wants you to think, right? Oh no, this should just, just this transition is bad because it's causing disruption, because there is some chaos now. The world must be coming to an ending because there's more chaos than ever. More chaos than ever, which is not true. You guys pick up a history book every once in a while and see that 
in general, we are far less chaotic than we have ever been in our in our human past, okay? Go look at some of the things that we used to do as a human race, okay? And I'm not saying that we don't still do terrible things to each other, but overall in general, you know, be aware that don't fall for everyone telling you the world's falling into chaos and everything is, is worse and, you know, and uh, education is at the lowest it's ever been and violence is at the highest it's ever been. No, it is absolutely freaking not, okay? Things are getting much better, actually, in our society. It just, we go through a, like, there is chaos before transition. There is chaos in transition, okay? When you're transitioning from a child into a teenager, think how chaotic your life is when you're going from being a child to be, you're going through puberty, how much in your body is changing and how much your hormones are changing and how much, you know, you start fighting and you start screaming and your, your feelings mean so much and you just have to express them so much, right? Think about that, right? Think about how individually, right? How when you go through those changing process and your, you know, your hormones are changing and, and things like that, it seems very chaotic. But then on the other side of it, you're like, things weren't that dramatic. Like, why did I feel, why did I feel like my life was over because my voice cracked in history class? You know, like really, really, uh, it wasn't like, I just want to die now, you know? <laughs> it's like, hey, Jimmy, what's the answer to this? Well, it is. <gasps> <laughs> you know, and it's like, I just want to die, right? But it's like, looking back on those moments, you know, a few years later, looking back on those moments when you're not going through the change, it's like, it's not that big of a deal, right? So I feel like that's what it's going to be like. I'm like, man, we were being so dramatic a few years. I mean, like, not that I, I'm not saying that there is actual chaos, you know, like some actual chaos happening in the world with everything that's been happening over the past two years. But it's like, Things have to change. Give this relationship a chance. Give this change a chance, okay? Think you have to go through un uncomfortable periods to issue in change. Change is uncomfortable, but it's necessary. And it's going to happen whether we want it to or not. Look at this. Look how free yourself is coming out under deception. Free yourself from these masks. Free yourself from this egotistical thinking. Free yourself. From this, I'm the sinner, uh, we're the sinner, this is, you know, the worst. Every, every generation says that. No. <laughs> Romantic feelings has forgiving and learning. Absolutely. So it's time to forgive and learn. It's time to learn from the past, forgive and move on. Okay. It's time for us to look at our past and say, hey, it's okay that we have these feelings, but we need to, there are some things that we need to accept and acknowledge and then be able to heal and move on from, right? Just like it takes that in your personal life, it takes that in conscious life as well, but it takes you acknowledging it. You can't just tell somebody, look, just move on. That was hundreds of years ago. Yeah, but it happened for thousands of years. So yeah, acknowledge it first, deal with the issues, deal with the consequences, deal with the symptoms of what's been happening, and then we can move on from it, right? And that covers a vast array, you guys, of issues that are happening in our society. Not just the hot, hot topic, hot button ones that are happening now. Yes, get to know each other. Look, healing family issues, healing, right? What I was talking about, how all these like karmic partnerships came together and they were passing down karmic traumas and things like that to their other to their children right it's like hey pay attention right learn from the past mistakes of generations before us get to know each other the signs are cautioning you about things that have happened in the past other ways that things did not work in the past learn from it go back and study your history and actually be aware of what actually really happened you know okay and, and falling under, stay optimistic about your love life or stay optimistic about this, right? Keep an open mind. Look at that. And I feel like you guys, although I talked about us as a society in general, the whole thing about this chemistry, which, what you're putting out is what you're attracting in, right? 
I feel like you could a hundred percent, you could probably listen to this reading and apply it to probably what's been happening in your love life. What's been happening in the transitional period of, right? We've been talking about the divine masculine, divine feminine going through their, their consciousness, you know, waking up, having brand new starts, having these tower moments, going through chaos, letting it go, learning to forgive, learning to open up their emotions, letting go of their mask, showing the world who they really are, you know, deciding to get to take this action oriented, you know, place in their life and do something about actually putting in these changes, creating businesses, getting out there, being aware of what doesn't serve you, walking away from, from heartbreak, forgiving and learning and walking away from heartbreak. So what we've been talking about y'all individually going through in your love lives is what as a whole, a lot of people, uh, we as a race in general are going to be going through, or we are already going through it, or you're going to be able to see it even more in our consciousness raising above and being like, oh, wow. Like I see how things that I was going through in my personal life and my personal awakening process are going to be being shown on a more, on a grander scale. Wow. I love this. I love this. This is a beautiful reading. Okay. One more or two more of these. Okay. For the overall, for overall messages for this, please, spirit. Right. The temperance angel, the love angel. Look, look, calling in your soulmate. What was I talking about? Right. Calling in this meant to be next phase of our, of our existence. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualiz uh, visualizations help bring you together, help summon in this much higher consciousness. Right. And it, that includes right. As a society in general, as we wake up, that includes more people, more twin flames, more soulmate energies coming together to create high vibrational, you know, con you know, fulfilling contracts. And it's kind of like, like issuing in a new golden, a new golden era in human existence. Yeah. Yeah. What is Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what? Get it together. <laughs> Healing family issues. Thank you, spirit. Right? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. As we forgive the generations that came before this and the mistakes that they made, learn from those mistakes, right? And change. See, okay, this didn't work, so let's learn something new. Divine timing, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play in this, right? And this is all happening right on divine time. Oh, yes. Give this relationship a chance. Give this a chance. You know, let this transition really. Yes. New love. A new person has stirred, right? A new romantic cycle, a new renaissance cycle, a new cycle of human emotion and human feeling is coming in. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Release the old. Release your ex. Okay. Reconciliation is happening with this new love. Okay right? Absolutely. Wow. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Enjoy this new blissful overall. This is beautiful, you guys, because that means us as a general, as a consciousness, as, as, you know, the first people, you know, as the people that are really going through this really made, we're well, not the first, but the really going through this, 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 new awakening age that we're going through right now, so many of us are actually going to end up in much healthier, happier family dynamics and much healthier, happier. You know, it's like this age of, of us healing all of uh, healing a whole generation of people, a whole several generations of people putting in that work to heal this generational trauma and breaking us away from our mask, breaking us away from this self-deception and issuing in this much higher level of existing right this golden age that i was talking about look right this would just give this a chance and look these people have like this golden glow around them right here this forgiving and learning like this golden glow wow right and it's like here release the old ways release the old shadowy ways and step into the sun wow Okay, <laughs> new beginnings, the, more that golden glow. Yeah, I'm not sure why they're asking me to pull. 
some of these cards because I was about to win this. However, okay. Oh, I love that. Eight of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. Working on building new contracts. And for some reason, I have never noticed that. It's not here in this, but for some reason, it's reminding me of a hummingbird. Doesn't that kind of look like a hummingbird, you guys? I mean, not exactly the shape, but the colors of it with like the red chest and like the green wings. It reminds me of a hummingbird. The universe, which is the world card in this deck. Twenty-one. Yeah. Did I say the, the world card was 10 before? No, that was something else I was talking about. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely this transition of like betrayals that have happened. So 10 of swords came out kind of sideways and this king of cups. Yes. This kind of betrayal that we've that we've dealt before with these king of, with this kind of this kind of like distorted masculine energy, it's kind of coming to an end. Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. <laughs> Ace of Wands in reverse is kind of like the end of kind of the more a solely solely um, masculine dominated society. And this kind of Knight of Cups, in and out, in and out, breadcrumbing kind of feeling. And kind of, it's kind of like, it's kind of giving me this, this feeling of like being, it's like going through like small awakenings, then closing back down, then small awakenings, then closing back down. It's like, it's time for just, it's open up and it, for it to just go forward into the future. Instead of going through... It's like, I, it's like the end of some kind of back and forth cycles. Yeah. Yes. Ace of Swords, the truth. The truth is just coming out. Five of Wands in reverse. The end of conflict. The end of fighting. The end, the end of going back and forth. Oh, my God. <laughs> I had to laugh at myself because I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. The Hierophant. Right? And the Nine of Swords in reverse, right? The end of all of this, ang of all of this anger, of this nightmare, of the darkness. The end of it. Hierophant. And the bringing in of an age. I'm telling y'all, we are in the beginnings of a new age of enlightenment. A new age of, like, a, it's a return of, like, this kind of, like, a new renaissance era. Like going through a new age of enlightenment, a new renaissance era. One more. What's the last thing you have to say about this spirit? It's like a new age of uh, of healing. One, four of swords in the upright. And then ace of cups in reverse of self-love and self-care. Yeah. And something about here, there's a two of swords here with these people. Oh my gosh. It's a two of swords here. It's like seeing without seeing, right? She still has those swords that ready to defend herself, even though, even though she's blindfolded. And then look, four of wands. I'm telling y'all, there's going to be a lot of sacred unions happening. Wow. This was an intense read. This was different. I really enjoyed this. You guys let me know down in the comment section below if you like talking about things like this. And like I said, it, it, take it as an intuitive exercise that if you want to apply this 100% to your actual personal like personal awakening, I really feel like you can find it here. Because it's following the same beats, which I think is what spirit wants us to understand is that we're all a lot more alike than we think because so, so many of us, even though we might be going through different types of awakening, we might be going through it, we might be 
having different karmic tests, you know, but it's like they might come to us, you know, looking different, smelling different, saying different words, but it's all, but it's all a lot. So many of us, it's like, see ourselves as one going through, going through a change and a shift, you know, in consciousness here and see that we're all kind of going through it together and that we're here to help each other all go through this all together. You know, it's very kumbaya, very, you know, we can get together <laughs> and we can do this. Okay. Now I want to go through my deck. So if something else ends up in my deck, y'all guys can see right here on camera that I am going through my deck and there is no more of those cards in my deck. So if another one of those cards pops up in my deck tomorrow, I'm going to be like, I don't know what to tell y'all because I show <laughs> I mean, I don't know if y'all believe me, but like that was crazy. That's crazy. This pop back up. Just stand your ground, right? This is this mirroring energy coming through here. Wow. Conclusions are within reach. Yeah. What's this? Yes. Surrender. Surrender to the divine. I love ending that there. I love ending that there. Thank you, spirit. Absolutely. Absolutely. I really enjoyed this reading. You guys let me know down below if you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, you are more than welcome to use this as an intuitive exercise to, to, um, into it, what you need out of your own personal situation, you know, out, out of this, you know, not my, you know, um, let me know. Oh yes. About the Mandela effects and things like that. Let me know any of those like crazy stories that you guys have heard about that down in the comments section down below. If you guys are interested in talking more about more things like that on the channel, let me know. Okay. Um, thank you so much for all the love and all the support. Hello to all the new subscribers and our old and our day one subscribers as well. Okay. If you're new here and you liked the content think about checking something else, think about uh, subscribing to the channel. Okay. Um, for more content, let me know how you feel about it down in the section. Uh, the, in the comment section down below, you know, we'll just keep everything nice and open minded. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I am not trying to make this like a super political channel or anything like that in general, but I do feel like our collective consciousness and our spirituality does have an effect on, you know, things like that. So, it's not something I want to talk about in detail on the channel. You know, I definitely want to stay focused on our spirituality um, as a whole, but I'm not going to play like things like that that are happening in our society don't have an effect and our, or it, that in turn, our spirituality doesn't have an effect on things like that in our society, right? How it, fil how it all filters down. Confirmation about that, okay? Um, like I said, spend some time outside, you guys. Spend some time, like, really, you know, kind of, like, uh, defragging, kind of, you know, getting back to nature, spending some time, you know, maybe getting your hands or your feet in the dirt, you know, or just spending some time, you know, with friends and family, you know. Spend some casual time is what I'm feeling like. Don't forget during this whole process, the whole spiritual awakening to really connect with other people, right, in, in the ways that's safe for you to do that, Okay. I hope that you guys are having such a beautiful time. Okay, I hope that this message finds you blessed and abundant. All right. Uh, like I said, think about subscribing to the channel if you're not. And in either way, whether you're subscribed or whether you're not, thank you for being here. Thank you for participating in this exchange. I hope that you enjoyed this content and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye lovelies.